So let's see how to find a particular solution of the uh, inhomogeneous uh, second order uh, linear equation x double dot minus 3x dot minus 4x equals 2 sine t. So I, I will show you a method which uses complex variables. The idea is that we solve a um, complex differential equation and um, using uh, where the right hand side we can then write as an exponential function. So we're able to find a particular solution uh, where, where the inhomogeneous term is an exponential function. So I want to have uh, z, our complex variable, is going to be x of t plus i y of t. And I want to consider the differential equation for z where the real part of that differential equation, the, the real part of the left-hand side equals the real part of the right-hand side, is just the equation for x. So what I need to do is I need to write sine t in terms of the real part of an exponential function, right? So we know that e to the uh, i t is cosine t plus i sine t. So I could uh, multiply by minus i, so minus i e to the i t, which will clear the i in front of the sine t. So minus i times i is 1, so that will be sine t, and then minus i times cosine t, right? So we can write 2 times sine t as the real part of minus i of 2 times minus i or minus 2i times e to the i t, right? So a 2 sine t will be 2, the real part will be 2 sine t. So now we, instead of solving the differential equation for x, instead of finding the particular solution of the differential equation for x, we will find the particular solution of the differential equation for z. So z double dot minus 3z dot minus 4z equals minus 2i times e to the i t. Because the real part of the left hand side, because of the fact that the coefficients are real and it's a linear equation, the real part of the left hand side is x double dot minus 3x dot minus 4x right, because z is x plus i y, so all the y terms will be multiplied by i. And the real part of the right hand side is 2 sine t, okay. So x here is just the real part of z, okay. So if we can find a particular solution for z, when we take the real part of that particular solution, we'll end up with a particular solution for x. Okay. So the advantage of doing it this way is that we end up with an exponential function here. So it's somewhat easier to solve for z, right? We can try our usual ansatz, z equals a constant, right? Here it's a complex constant. We can uh, still call it a, but a will be a complex number, times e to the i t, okay? And uh, convert this differential equation into an algebraic equation for a. The second derivative of e to the i t drops down an i squared, which is a minus 1. So substituting in, we have a minus a and then we have a times e to the i t, which will cancel, so I won't write that. Minus 3a times the first derivative drops down an i, minus 3a i. Minus 4a equals the right-hand side, minus 
i and the e to the i t cancels. So this is an algebraic equation for a. So we have a there's minus 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 so we can multiply by uh, minus one so every all the minus signs turn into a plus sign. Then we have uh, five there are five a's and then there are three i's three i a's and that's equal to two i okay so we can solve for a so a equals uh, two i over five plus three i we write that as a complex number so we multiply by five minus three i over five minus three i the denominator will be 5 squared plus 3 squared, 25 plus 9 is 34. The numerator is um, 2i times minus 3i, which is minus 6i squared, is 6. And then uh, plus 10i. Uh, which has a common factor of 2, so that becomes 3 over 17 plus 5 over 17i. Okay. So we found our particular solution for z, and then x is the real part of that particular solution. So we get the particular solution, which I'll call zp, of t is supposed to be the real part of, of a solution we just found for z. So it's the real part of 1 over 17 times 3 plus 5i times e to the i t, e to the i t, which we can write as cosine t plus i sine t. Uh, the real part, the cross terms are imaginary, have an I in them. So the real part are just the first term times the first term, the second terms times the second terms. So this will be the first term times the first term is 3 seventeenths cosine t. The second term times the second term, i times i is minus 1. So we have a 5 sine t divided by 17. So minus 5 over 17 sine t. And that is the uh, particular solution of this differential equation obtained using complex variables.